Today's tutorial is about the complete guide and the step-by-step -step process of creating a monogram logo on Illustrator. So those who are beginners and are willing to learn how to create monogram logo on Illustrator, this tutorial is for you. What's going on everybody? So this is Sri from Rootless Sri. Today I'm going to show you how to create a monogram logo on Adobe Illustrator quickly and easily. So without adding further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. So here, as you can see, I have already created a few monogram uh, in a few monogram on Illustrator, and these uh, monograms are a little bit complex. So uh, we are not going to make this kind of monogram today. We are going to make such a uh, kind of monogram which is uh, like pretty like a logo monogram. So we are going to make this monogram today. So as as you can see, I have already created this one. So this is a pretty easy to start with. I mean, those who are beginners and those who are creating this for the first time is very easy to make. So uh, let's start. So first I will create a new document like from file new and here I will choose orientation uh, horizontal and hit OK. So now here i have used ventura font okay so you can easily download it from the description below i've given so it is available on dafont.com and you can go there and check the link below and download it from there okay so first of all i'll go to type tool and here i will select ventura semi bold demo so this one and here I will change the PT to 72 and I will type S okay first of all I'm making I'm just uh, making the caps lock on and S so I need the capital S not the small s okay so now I will just uh, make it an object from this uh, you know like type so that I can use that uh, for the logo. I will right click and click on create outlines. So now this is an object, okay? And I can make it smaller or bigger according to my, uh, you know, convenience. And this is like, uh, what I'm going to do is, as you can see this, uh, I've already created. I, I'm going to just remove this part, okay? And I will, I'm going to add the L here. So it's a pretty simple one so let's first delete this part it's a very easy process so what i'm going to do is from here i'm just uh, going to delete this anchor point so i'm just going to zoom in a little bit and click on this delete anchor point tool as you can see here on the left and i'll click on this points so that yep okay so now i'm just going to adjust it a little bit just like that yep so i'm done just like this now i'm going now i'm going to add the l with this s so again i'm going to type tool and type l okay i will follow the previous process i will right click create outlines and then i'm just dragging it and making it a little bit bigger just like that okay and just placing it here okay so now what i will do is i'm just making a copy out of it so i will select everyone i will click the alt button i will press the alt button on my keyboard 
and I will click and drag so it will make a copy of this I'm just keeping the original one to just uh, you know keep the record now now what I will do is I will right click the L and arrange send it to back so now s is in front and l is at the back now i will select both i will press the alt key and click on minus front okay now what i can see that the intersection point has been already cleared okay so now i will go to object and click on expand appearance here we get the new object so now what i will do is now i will click on s i will make a copy out of it by pressing alt key and just dragging it right like that and i'm just placing it in front of it okay so to adjust it a little bit i'm just making it a little bit yeah just like that so what i will do is i will just click on this l and I will ungroup it and again I will create again I will click release compound path so what it will so what it will do it will just you know like uh, ungroup all the linked part and objects okay so now this is a completely a different object and I can and I can uh, like move it forward or backward so I'm just making it a little bit forward just like that okay and uh, this one a little bit okay okay so now what I will do is to check everything is fine I will just select all and will go to view and click on outline so what it will create is it will create a outline of the whole thing and you can easily see if there is any mistakes of you know like the anchor point so that you can fix it so you will click it on the direct selection tool and you will just drag it a little bit or maybe I'm going to just delete this point so that I can play with it better just like that you know okay uh, this looks fine and as you can see like everything is pretty cool so I don't need any other fix here I guess so so this is a very good you know like uh, way to check everything is fine now i will go to view and click on gpu preview okay so now we can see the object again and here as you can see the monogram is pretty like looking pretty cool so now i'm selecting everything and i'm going to press the all button again and now this time i'll click on unite so what it will create it will actually make everything united and create it a single object okay so now if i click on object and expand appearance and now this is a single object okay so here is our monogram so what i will do next i will click on ellipse tool i'm just going to make a text okay so for here i don't need this outline so i'm going to click on this none now what i will do is if you go to type tool press the all button and click and keep clicking on it then you will get this uh, type on a path tool so this is what we require here so type on a path tool so now i'll click on here and I'm just going to make this PT to 14 okay and I'm going to type monogram okay I 
think I need a little bit more. 18 is fine. So I'm going to type monogram 1920. Okay. So now what I will do is I will just select this one. I will uh, click on this corner of this particular, you know, like uh, ellipse. As you can see this corner so I will click on this and here as you can see this little arrow I will just left click and if I just drag it like this so it will come to the center point just like that okay now I'm just going to click on edit copy edit paste in place okay so it has already been paste so, so now what I will do, I will just repeat the process. I'm just going to uh, click on this little button here as you can see this arrow and I'm just going to drag this again just like and I'm just going to keep it at the bottom just like that. Okay. Now I need another two at the side. So I'm going to repeat the process. I'm just going to edit copy edit paste in place and I'm just going to drag it just like that okay copy paste in place and just like that okay so now I got these things so here what I will do is I'm going to uh, you know write something else like uh, this one okay so I'm going to write sample logo okay similarly here I'm also going to write this one I'm just going to select it and I'm going to write sample logo okay now then i'm going to uh, show you a little trick i don't need it here but i'm just showing it so if you click on this part okay and uh if i'm just like zooming in it a little bit and if you want this text inside just click on this little you know like as you can see the little line here just click uh, on the direct selection tool and just click it inside so what what will happen it will just create this to the inside as you can see this okay so this is a little uh, very interesting thing on illustrator because of this the work process can be a lot more faster okay so now this is done uh, next what we will do is we are going to create another circle you know like inside this monogram so I'm going to just click on the center line so uh, to get the center line what we will do is press the control R so I'll get the scale here I'm just dragging this and I'm just making a center line just like that okay and make sure to lock the guide here okay and now I'm just going to the ellipse tool and just clicking on this center line and making another circle here so I'm just going to click on this stroke and I'm choosing this black one and making it a little bit thick like that okay so I think this is okay
I think just uh, making this little bit, uh, you know, the font size should be a little bit bigger, you know, 24 is fine. Here also, I think 24 is fine. And that's also 24. Yep. So I'm just dragging it a little bit in the center. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So and I'm going to click on this ellipse tool. Okay. And now I'm going to click on this ellipse and I will go to edit, copy, paste in place. Just clicking the shift all button and dragging it inside and uh, this, I'm just going to reduce the stress, reduce the stroke size here to three. Okay. Just making it a little bit center. Yeah, that's fine. Now I'm going to put a few stars here. So I will go to ellipse tool, click on alt and keep clicking till I get the star. Yep. Here is the star. Okay, so I'm going to drag here another, you know, like guide so that we can track it so that we can get the star at the right place. So I'm going to just making it a little bit less, just dragging it. Yep, that's correct. I'm just going to lock the guide star just putting the star you know making a copy of it by clicking on alt and just dragging it here just like that okay and uh, And I will select the both stars and I will click on alt and similar process I will drag it just below here okay just like that change the position a little bit and okay this sounds Okay, so yeah, I think this is looking pretty good. So, so here is a complete monogram. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you have liked and enjoyed this video. And also, if you have learned something from this video and you think it is worth it, then please do share it with your friends and others who might like this too. Also, give your feedbacks and comments in the comment section, like what you feel about this video. And if you have any other questions or any other suggestion about this video, you can also put in the comment section. So be happy, be positive, be creative, and be awesome. I will see you in the next video. Until then.